Yes, and welcome to our latest edition of Woody's Club Tour. I've got a good little, a good mate of mine, Jaden Sewer, mate. Welcome. Thanks, bro. Thanks for having me. How's the, uh, how's the break been so far, mate? That's been good. Um, you know, recovering from my, my surgery, um, my shoulder surgery, so still in a little bit. Uh, about to go on a three-week break, go overseas, so can't wait. And where are you off to? Uh, go to New Zealand for a week. Back home to Brizzy for a week and then over to the islands for a week. So, oh. yeah, I mean, the missus are excited. Oh, beautiful, mate. And normally, the first thing we talk about is how we first met. Um, yeah. Obviously, we played against each other quite a few times when you took my head off. Yeah. But we'll get into that a little <laughs> bit later on. But the old couple, yeah. when we got stuck with each other. Was that the first time? I'm pretty sure. We've... Nah, I remember one time you were in Hook's office buying them coffee. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. How good is this? Nah, um... You wouldn't see me near Hook's office. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Um, nah, yeah, carpool and... Was that when you never just brought your car? Like, it was just myself and... Who was the other bloke used to come with us? Big Tao Tao Moga. Mr. Monga, so... Yeah, it was us three and... Um, yeah, we had some some good chats on the way and... Some uh, Hello some, Darkness, uh, my old friend, <laughs> on the way to pre-season. A lot of good memories and... Um, now, now what? He's both gone. We're both gone, so... Mate, what are you going to do without us? I don't know. It would be a bit more peaceful, but... Are you going to drive with, with Benny Hunter training, or are you going to um, give it the Cronulla crew? Depends if he's still there. No. Nah, oh, um, wow. I don't know, I think Hame lives near me now, so he, he just moved. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you played with Hame at South, didn't you? Yeah, we played together in South, so um, we're pretty close. Our uh, partners are pretty close as well, so... Um, yeah, he might, he might be Was, getting an upgrade. He's a Dragons junior as well. You're getting up, please, mate. <laughs> How boring is the chat going to be in the car? <laughs> well, at least you know, like, to the people listening... When, when uh, Jaden and I felt really bad, we could always look to the bloke next to us in Tao Tao Moga and feel really, really good about ourselves because I've never met a bloke with more head noise. Yeah, more complaining. Oh, complains the most. So. Sore back, he had to sit in the back and lay down like it was like I was looking after my two-year-old son. <laughs> but, you know, you got through it. Yeah. Obviously, that tough year this year. Shoulders, how is, the, how is the recovery coming from the shoulder, mate? Nah, it's really good, eh? It's, um, yeah, I feel almost back to normal. I'm about... I think 12 weeks next week, uh, yep. post-surgery. So, um, yeah, it's getting on now and uh, physios are happy with it. So, um, you know, my next progression is slowly getting into a bit of contact. Yep. And, um, take, yeah, your, take, take your time with that yeah. for pre-season. Especially the wrestle sessions. I'll, <laughs> I'll just have to watch that one eh, like you used to do last year. So <laughs> The old tight, you know, hemi or something. So you get it. Mate, so when you, you know, you're born obviously in Christchurch. Yep. So how long were you over there for? Um, I was only over there for about a couple of years yep. and, um, obviously parents born and, and grew up there and was there for a couple of years and then they decided to, uh, you know, move to Brisbane and, yep. um, yeah. is that Lo Logan in Brisbane? Yeah. Um, I first moved to like East Brisbane Okay, yep. and then I was about, yeah, two and then spent a couple of years there and then I uh, moved to Logan when I was about eight Yep. and, um, yeah, spent the rest of my time there. So, and, and you played, did you play for Logan Brothers in the Sural Connell and M.A. Meninga Cup? Yeah, so it's called, it, Logan Brothers is like the, the local team. Yep. And then Cyril Connell and uh, like Mal Meninga and all that, that's called South Logan. So. Oh, yes, yeah, because that's what they got in the reserve grade, oh, yep. the Queensland Cup up there, isn't it? Yeah. So I played all my juniors there and um, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then speaking of obviously schools, you went to Marsden State High, that's a big rugby league school. I remember my Australian school boys coach was, was from there. Oh, wow. Um, Brendan Barlow. Oh yeah, yeah. Hello, Barlow. Yeah, was so, he your coach? Yeah, he was our coach for Australian oh, schoolboys, yeah. and and we end up doing like I think a week training there. Like yeah. it was mate, mad facility. Did yeah. you have any other like first graders that were there with you? Um, funny enough, when I was in maybe year eight or nine, oh, no, Tao left just before I got there. But um, the first graders that were there when I was there were like Paddy Mago was a few years older than me. He was yep. he was there. Um, Branko Lee. Um. Because like, didn't like Adam Blair, did GI go there as well? Nah, they no, they went to Wavell, I'm Oh, Wavell sure. State, sorry. Yeah, Wavell, well, yeah. I had like Greg Marzu from, yeah, yep. from the Knights. He was he oh, was man. in my grade, so he was there for- Hardest bloke in the world to tackle. <laughs> That's why you usually, I go to the short side when he takes uh, a carry, so- The Jaden Sewell special. <laughs> and then you, what year did, was it that you left there? I left there in 2013 and went to um, Churchy, whenever there. And that's like a rugby, so how did you get to that school? Because that's a rugby union school, isn't yep. it? Yeah. So I just, um, I went to like the Queensland schoolboy tryouts. Yep. It, they had like an open day. For union or league? For union. Yep. Um, they had an open day in, um, at the school. Yep. And I just went there with my old man. Uh, I didn't have 40 that week. So I might've had the day off. I played on the, the Sunday. So Saturday was free and my dad goes, oh, we'll just go have a look. And then 
I went and had a look and actually met Brody there. Oh, okay. And then um that's how we first met and That's Brody Croft. Yeah, yep, Brody yep. Croft, sorry. And then um yeah, we ended up getting through. Yeah. I can't remember. There was two Queensland teams. I can't remember what one I got into, but I I couldn't play it anyway. Because um we had like Queensland for, for league. Yeah, yep. So I was just going there just for just to keep fit and, and stuff like that. So um yeah, one of the, the coaches there were the coaches for the school team and just started like that, and then um, yeah, gave me a call, and I ended up getting a, a scholarship there, and oh wow, yeah, that's how yeah that journey. And that's one of the big cool. schools too, isn't it? Is that one of the high like union schools up there? Yeah, it's a GPS school, which is like I think it's like a school that's um, been there over a hundred years. So oh wow, yep, um, yeah, it was a good school. It was and wasn't know, Callum Ponga in your side as well? Yeah, or was he grade below? No, we're in the same grade. Oh, same grade. Yeah. So because I that's a fair side yourself, Ponga. Yeah, Croft. We had a yeah, we had a yeah, real good side and. Um, ended up winning it that year. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, like all the boys, some of the boys graduated and then KP ended up signing to the Cowboys and yep. um, it was just me and Brody left for the, for the second year and we, yeah, we were lucky enough to go back to back. So, so, so did, um, did Callan go to school up in, Cal, up in Townsville or yep. did he, oh, so he left there and went to another school. Yeah, he went to another school. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think they, you know, paid him a lot of money and, you know, it, stupid not to. <laughs> Mate, look at him now. He's yeah. fine. And then your, obviously relationship, Pat Carrigan. You was he so he wasn't in your school team, but he went to another school that rivaled you, wasn't it? Yeah, he went to um Gregory Terrace, he was a school captain there, so oh, okay. Um, yeah, we met obviously through playing each other, yep, and then we didn't really like meet meet and because he was with the Broncos and um, we didn't really meet meet till um, we're at schoolies, schoolies, so, yeah. I met him yeah. in a in a was um, it like can I ask you, it was. Before you tell us, hey, man, was he like the guy like you look against, oh, mate, I can't stand this bloke, I want to smash him. Like, because, you know, when you're at school, your ego, your testosterone yeah. getting thrown around, you're like, mate, I want to, like, he's yeah, the big dog at the other school. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, he was the big dog, school captain, and, um, yeah, we obviously, yeah, he was their, their main player. So, um, I remember, I can't, I don't have the photo anymore, but I posted a photo on Instagram because I, I think I scored the winning try. And Oh, yeah. He come across in cover defence, and he was <sighs> never going to get me, so he, he dove for me and ankle tapped me, and he missed me, but there's a photo of me, like, running past him and he's on the ground and like, he always we always give each other shit from it so it's um yeah one of the memories we share so it's a great memory it wouldn't be wouldn't be like you to bring up something like that yeah I, I bring it up all the time so <laughs> i'm trying to find the photo i deleted it because i felt bad and i uh, can't find it feel bad mate and then so talk to us obviously you go to the broncos but before then you were contracted with the canberra Raiders for two years yeah so how'd that come about um they had a, a partnership with um with sas logan yep so, um, I think a few of the, I think that's how like, you know, well, big Papa. Yeah, I was going to say Papa, Papa Lee played there for a bit too, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So he was at Sass Logan. I, I'm not sure if, if that's how it started, but because of the, I guess, partnership that Sass Logan had with, um, Canberra, I'm pretty sure like, that's like boys like, you know, him, uh, Milford and all that, uh, ended up going down to Canberra. So yeah, I was with them for a, a couple of years, only on like a little scholarship deal and, um, yeah, I think they went to offer me something a bit more serious, but my old man, you know, wanted me to just to wait and try and see yep. if I can get anything that's closer to home. And yeah, like a year or two later, luckily enough, I, I got a deal with the uh, Broncos. So. And, and did you just do much with the camp? Like, what do they do? Like, just like camps or? Yeah, it was like a camp at the end of each year, like those junior camps, those development camps. And yep. They'd get us in for, you know, two to three days and on the, on the school holidays. So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then, so you do sign with the Broncos. How, how was that? Because, you know, a lot of people that live in Brisbane say that's the dream. Is that, was yeah. it a big dream of yours? Andrew, that was the biggest dream. Um, just to, you know, sign and play for the Broncos. And Brendan Barlow was actually the one who found me. So, oh, wow. yeah, funny enough that, you know, used to a uh, very tight, so. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he was actually a good fella. I didn't mind him. He's yeah, a good he coach. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing now. I think he's at Wavell now, so. Okay. Or last I heard, so. And um, so that was, what, 2015? You was your first with the 20s, Broncos, or 16? No, nah, 2015 was my last year of school, and I was yep. playing 20s then. And then did you go straight into a preseason with the Broncos 20s? Um, so in 2014, it was, I was in, that's at the end of that year, I went into my first twenties preseason yep. and then, um, yeah, training with them all the way through. And then 2015, I played twenties, but I had to stop at a certain date just because of the school season. Oh really? Yeah. And then I never forget, I, um, we ended up winning the school season outright, outright and our last school game, they suspended me because I, um, we had a buy for our second last school game, but we already, yep. we already won the comp and um, I ended up going back to play for the Bronx when I wasn't supposed to. And At the twenties? Yeah, the twenties. Oh wow. And then, um, yeah, they went too happy and, you know, suspended me from the last game and. So, yeah. so, so you didn't ask? No, which... well, I, I did ask. Oh, you did ask? They said no. 
Yeah. But it was like it was like the quarterfinals for the for the twenties. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And um, yeah, ended up just ha- playing anyway. So someone's dubbed you. Oh, all, all the finals were on TV. Weren't yeah. They with twenties. They were. Yeah. They were. So. Yeah. Not one of my finest moments, but oh, look where you are it's now. Worth it's, it. it's, it's worth it. And you, because you were playing. So did you get the opportunity to play schoolboys for the union, or they Broncos wouldn't let you? Nah. So um, just join all the triads and all the school footy stuff. I. Um, yeah, didn't have the time and, yep. um, yeah, I was obviously playing for the twenties, so I couldn't really, you know, miss any more footy for the twenties than I already was. So, um, yeah, I think the last game I got to play was the 18s origin. And then after that school said, yeah, no more rugby league. It's all rugby union now. So, yep. um, yeah, that was it. How was that? Cause you played the 16s origin, you played the 18s origin. How did it feel putting on the, the Maroon jersey? And, and where did you just play that? Did you play it up in Suncorp or did you play down at Homebush? What, the 18s? Yeah, the 18s. I think the 18s was at the MCG. Oh, really? Oh, how sure. good's that? Yeah, it was unreal, bro. We um we actually won that too. It was a good game as well. And yeah, that was What awesome. year was that? Uh, was that 2015? Yeah, it was 2015. Yeah, I played that. I played yeah. half that one. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that, I always like... That's so like, funny. I remember I used to hate you, bro. Going, oh, really? Oh, well, not hate, but just like... I get that a fair bit. Yeah, I bet I still you do. do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, at, the, um, at the game, I just remember... You know, watching you guys. I think, I'm pretty sure you guys won. Yeah, we ended up scored a try that night too. Yeah. One and of, I remember I was like, oh, I, hate, I hate Aaron Woods. So oh, come on, mate. It's funny how it, um, yeah, the tables have turned now. And now yeah. I took you out of my wing at the Dragons. Yeah, yeah. They call me uh, the Bear Junior after you. So uh, and for people out there, the uh, the Bear <laughs> nicknames, yeah. We might we might not say it too much because uh, it's it's the bare minimum. Yeah, so it's not true. So please. Uh, so then in 2016, obviously Junior Kangaroos, What's that? That was like sort of the Anzac round, wasn't it? Like around Anzac weekend? Yeah. Oh, and, I think it was during like, you know, they used to have the, um, the, yeah, old, sorry, the Anzac, yeah, which is, yeah. I think, because they played the Aussie Anzac on Friday night. So you captained the Junior Kangaroos? Nah. Oh, no, you didn't? Didn't. Oh, I didn't. But you, you got man of the match. Yeah, I got man of the match. Yeah. Um, How was that going? Was well, that the first time you've come up against the Hucker? Yeah, that would have been, yeah, the first time. How, did, you know, something I always want to know, because obviously you're born in New Zealand. Yeah. How did, how does that feel? Like, do you, feel like you should be playing for New Zealand or like should be playing for Australia because you've been here since you're two. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was tough. I actually, um, like growing up, all I ever wanted to do was, was play for the Kiwis. And yep. it wasn't until I got to about 13, 14 when, um, you know, I started making those Queensland sides that I, I, you know, realized and understood what it really meant to, to be a Queensland. And obviously I've been here, you know, a long time now and I call Australia home now. So it's, it's, yeah, funny how it works because, um, yeah, I played that game, and then the year after, I actually got picked for the Junior Kiwis and the oh yeah yeah and the um yeah Junior Kangaroos, and I remember it was Wayne. Wayne asked me what I wanted to do, and um I think we kind of lent towards going the Junior Kiwis path, and then I went home, told my parents, and had a good talk with my parents, and um they were like, oh if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, and um I got to training the next day, and I I went to Wayne asked me, you know, asked me what what they had said, and. I just told him oh, I want to play for Queensland. That was the yep. biggest thing for me. And um, yeah, he said he'd support me, you know, with whatever I, you know, wanted to do. And, um, you know, lucky enough, I, I went that way. And, you know, I've been able to play for Queensland since. So it's, um, yeah, very. It's a great decision, to mate. Look at you now. You <laughs> yeah. played for a couple of games of Queensland. How good's that? Yeah, that nah, was awesome. And then so later that year, your debut, round 12. Yep. Against the Tigers. And yeah. Mate, how, how was that? And how, like, one thing I always ask players, how... How did you get told that you were going to debut? Did you know it was coming? Um, was there any injuries? Like, what was, how how did Wayne tell you that you were going to be playing first grade? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a week after the, the Junior Kangaroos game. Um, he just come up to me and, oh, he went up to Tavita first because I debuted with Tavita Pangai. Oh, yep. Yeah, and then everyone was getting around Tavita and then um, Wayne was like sort of walking up towards me and I could see him coming to me at the corner of the eye and it was around the origin period. So like, you know, Jillo and, and all yep. that w- weren't going to play and, I was stretching. I was, you know, I never stretched before training. So <laughs> I doing those extras. <laughs> I could see him walking towards me and I was like, just pretending to stretch and I was pretending like I couldn't see him. And then he just goes, um, you're playing this week. And then just walked off. That's all he said. That's all he said. And I didn't really like believe him. Yeah. And then, um, so, yeah, later so later. like, did the boys ask you like, are you playing? And like, what did Wayne say to you? Yeah. Or did anyone notice him walking oh, over? A few you? of the boys heard yep. and then got around me. But as I said, I didn't believe it until, you know, the team list came out. So yeah. What number were you? I was number 12. Oh, wow. Started as well. Yeah. How good's that? Yeah, it was unreal. 
You know, being a back row, do you like 12 or 11? Does it make a difference? You don't care? Or... No, I like 12. You do like 12? Yeah. I've been 12. Like, even in school, I was always 12 because I was inside center. Yeah. And that's what number they wear. So it's kind of like a superstition now. I always try and get the 12, but. That's fair enough. I oh, mate, you know, I love number eight. If you're yeah. in front row, it's eight or 10. Eight's better. That's what I think. Better than the 15. So. Uh, that, oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> better than 14 or 17, eh? Well, these days, it's 18, 19, yeah, 21. Definitely. You're lucky to get on the team. I'm, I'm just happy with any number, to be honest with you. How was Wayne? Like, a lot of people, like, you know, I've never had him as a coach. Um, you look outside in and you look, he looks like, a you know, an old man. But then you hear the boys just speak about him. He's like one of the boys. Doesn't drink, but sits on the back of the bus. Like, what's his influence been on you in your whole career? Yeah, he, um, yeah, well, I, I can't speak highly enough of him. Um, you know, he, he loves the banner. He loves getting around the boys. He, um, you know, he's, he's always at the back of the bus, you know, listening to music, uh, when I was at South, we, he was, um, me and Keon were, were Yuka partners and mm -hmm. he'd always come find us to play because, you know, he could never beat us. So, um, yeah, he's done a lot for me in my career and he just, I think the biggest thing is, you know, he makes you believe and makes you understand, I guess, you know, how good you can be. Yep. Um, I think one of the, you know, biggest lessons or, you know, my, one of my favorite experiences we're probably in 2018 when, um, you know, I started playing a few games and I started playing all right. And he got us into like a video session. Oh, I obviously never talked. I didn't open my mouth at all. Yeah, yep. And then he just goes, oh, so how do you think you played? And I was like, oh, you know, I did all right. Um, he goes, oh, I think, you, you know, you're a pretty important part of this of this team now, aren't you? And then you know, I didn't know really how to react. I was just like, where's he going with this? Yeah. So I just like, you don't want to say, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm important, you know, and yeah. in front of the older boys and that, I was just, oh, thanks. And then. Yeah, he just, yeah, makes you believe. I was speaking to our good mate Tao before I come in here. Yeah. And he, he oh, told great. me, no, 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 nothing bad about you. He, he said, ask Sewer about the story when we got pumped by, by I think, Penrith. By 50, I think. Was it up at mm. Bathurst or, or Dubbo, maybe? Yeah. And he goes, ask him how Wayne was at the next session. Or, or I don't know, he didn't tell me what happens. He goes, Sewer will be tell you a funny story about the review or, or the next week of training. He reckons it was hilarious what Wayne did. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he told everyone to, to get to training and, um, told us, you know, you're not allowed to, um, don't go to the video room. Everyone come down to the gym. Yep. Um, so we're all waiting for him and we're all waiting. They're all a bit nervous because, you know, we just got, um, you know, just got pumped. And then no, and for people, there's no worse feeling than when you get beat by 50 and you got to go to the video. Yeah. Like that's just, and especially when you know you've. Yeah. It wrecks a couple whole weekend. Yeah. <laughs> you just yeah. think about it. You think, oh, yeah. what am I going to say here? What am I going to say there? And. Anyway, yeah, he, um, we're all in the gym waiting for him and, um, yeah, he's about 10 minutes late and, you know, the lights turn off. So oh, like pitch black. Pitch black. And like, what the hell? And then, uh, the lights turn on and like, yeah, the speaker starts going off. I think it was, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme song. Oh, so the glass shatters? Yeah, the glass shatters and he kicks open the door and, um, he's holding the speaker up like this. Above his head, and um, he's just got his undies on. So this is Wayne. Yeah, Wayne. <laughs> and he's, <laughs> yeah, he's just dancing, and and oh, as soon as everyone's seen that, I think you know everyone had you know massive smiles on their face, and they're getting around him, lifting him up, and um, yeah, he was, yeah, the undies were going everywhere. It was, it was crazy. Wow. So just completely change your mindset for that week. Like instead of coming in being, yeah. Oh, wait for video. You've got this bloke coming into Austin music in his, in his, uh, budgies. How good would that have been? That was awesome. And what made it worse was I'm pretty sure we got beat like the week or two before by storm by 50. Oh, okay. So, so it's been like, a tough couple of weeks. Yeah, it was tough. And then, um, the way he was able to, you know, just get us all aboard and, and change the mood of everyone. It, it just, yeah, it was infectious. It was awesome. Oh, so that's, mate, I wish I had that in my time when we got beat by 50, yeah. like. I just wasn't remember, like that, was it? I just remember going on a video, like just sitting lower and lower in my yeah. chair. Like, oh, geez, you're going to get pinpointed contact here. as well, yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't miss the contact next session. And then out of nowhere, like, it just come by the media that Ben Hunt has asked for a release, you know, and did it shock you boys as a group or, you know, did he, and did he mention it, like, once it had been out? Like, no one's sort of really heard from him too much about what had happened. Yeah. Um, to be honest, it was a bit of a shock. Um, I don't know how the boys reacted only because... You know, I was that injured and I wasn't playing. And uh, so I'm not too sure if he said anything to them. He, you know, he didn't say anything to me because, you know, he's an origin camp and yeah. obviously his focuses are elsewhere. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, he probably did shock the boys in the, in the club a fair bit. Do you expect him to stay? Like, he's, 
from everything you said, do you reckon he'll stay? Obviously, he's going to stay this year, but because I think his contract is for the year after as well. I think it ends in 25. 25, okay. So he's, yeah, got a couple more years, and um, I think he will be there. Yep. I think he'll be there, yeah, next year. I don't know about after that, but um, yeah, hopefully he's there next year. So, yeah, he makes that team better. So, um, yeah, nice. And there. then, so my mate, Shane Flanagan's head coach down there now. How's, have you, has he, did he approach you during the year? Obviously, when he became coach, it was well known, well documented, um, but he was still working at Manly. Um, and, and we all knew that he was doing stuff. He, he spoke to Siege, was nice and open about it. Um, but had he reached out to you? Did you have any meetings with him, any conversations? Because um, I used to always wind him up about you. <laughs> no, we had a, we had a couple. Um, oh, we had one chat, I think, maybe a couple weeks after we um, you know, got announced coach. And, yep. uh, obviously, I'm into my last year at, at the Dragons, so we just had to talk about that and talk about uh, his plans for me and, and what he wants to do around the club. And you know, one thing I, you know, I like about him is he seems very determined. Um, yeah, he is ruthless as well in a, in a way in, in terms of you know he knows what he wants and he you know he'll do what he needs to do to get it so um I think that can only be positive for the club and um you know he cares a lot too so he's at the club now you know trying to change a lot and trying to you know I think he's changing our facilities and he's, he's even helping out building it and all that so um he obviously wants the best I'll tell you a funny story at Cronulla he built the gym like with his own hands and own money yeah, like he that's crazy. just wanted to get what was best for the team, what he thought was best. He's funny as a top bloke. If he thinks one this one percent will help you, he'll do it. Yeah, and and he's one of those guys. He can he can rub people up along the wrong way, like outside the group, because he is so determined and he and he backs his players so much. I think you, I reckon you you will strive under him, mate. He's he's unreal. Um, has he had like? Does he want long term keep you at the club? Has he spoke to you about that? I'm not too sure yet. Um. As I said, I got one more year, and yep. uh, we haven't really, I guess, talked um, too deep into discussions, or haven't gone too deep into discussions. But um, you know, it's you know, Sydney's become my home away from home, and yep. um, you know, I've sort of learned to to love it and enjoy it. You know, my partner's happy down here, so um, yeah, we'll obviously find out shortly. Well, that's about the footy stuff. But what I want to talk to you about is, do you remember when you did take my head off? <laughs> I've never seen someone milk a penalty so well. Perfect <laughs> you know timing too, because it, it was still... around the. Yeah, you can tell it. Go on. <laughs> Perfect timing. It was around the um, uh, when the NRL went on the the crackdown for the the head highs, and it was the Magic Round weekend, and um, you know Woodsy's taking a perfect play four carry, so he doesn't have to get on kick chase, and <laughs> <laughs> and he's uh he's went to bump me off, and he's you know gone very low, and I've just held my ground and and stayed square, and his uh. His head's run into my shoulder, so um, <laughs> I ended up getting getting sent off for it. So beauty. You know what the funny thing was actually? It was play two because remember <laughs> I spent I spent three plays giving the ref a verbal going, mate, have you not watched the other games? Every bloke has touched someone's shoulder to the head has been ten to be get this bloke off the field. And then I get sub because it was, I was I'd done my time, it was like twenty three minutes into the game. And as I'm coming off the field, you get they pull you back because they took it back to the, yeah, that's the right. play. So you didn't even get a penalty at the time and it yeah. come off. And then the next bloke comes on and gets the ball straight away. I remember that. Yeah, because they took it back. Yeah, they, it was one well, of those ones where yeah. they, uh, the video steps in the bunker and they take it back. We had but, to go all the way down the other end of the field. and But who looked after you? Remember what I say that? I, I bumped into Jaden after the game and I said, I'll look after you if it comes to, if you get suspended. You didn't get suspended from but did you? No, I just got fined 1500 so I'm still oh, waiting really? for that. Oh, yeah. really? Wow. If you, wanna, if you wanna hand that over, then. Uh... Oh, that's all right, mate. All the Dragons. <laughs> the Dragons money sort of looks after you there, doesn't it? But there's one thing we always do with all the players that come in. So right. we do this, it's a set of six with Woodsy. Yep. So this is with... Uh, not just current teammates, but anyone you've played with. So any teammate you've had throughout your career. Which teammate would you want by your side in a fight? Oh, there's a few. Yeah. Um, junior. Junior. I'm on there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he can, um, he's not too bad with his hands, but you know, I'd have to be a big boy. Someone like, you know, we've seen Payne Hass. Oh yeah. And Tino go at it uh, um, yep. in that origin. So him or maybe someone scary like Sammy B, Sammy oh, yeah. Burgess. He, no so fear. Like, nah, no fear at all. What about the hardest decision you've made in your career, mate? Would have been definitely, yeah, leaving Brizzy. Yep. Even though I felt like in a way that decision was sort of made for me. Um, but yeah, just leaving, leaving everyone and um, yeah, 
that would be the toughest one. I think it was a great decision at the time because South is a huge club. Favorite game you've ever played in? Ooh, um, favorite game. It'd have to be either the um, the World Cup Grand Final or yep. or maybe one of the the Origin decider at Suncourt that we won. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Was that, that a full stadium that night? Yeah, yeah, pretty oh, sure it was. Yeah, that so was cool. unreal. That was hectic. Two massive games, mate. Uh, most influential person in your career? Hmm. Oh, that's a obviously you know my old man. Yep. Uh, you know, but. Besides my old man, it'd have to be probably, you know, Wayne. Yeah. Do you still talk to Wayne now, even though that he's like not coaching you? And yeah. I haven't talked to him. I actually haven't talked to him, you know, this year, but we, we had a good chat um, last year and yep. just, you know, I lean on him for a lot of advice and just to get his opinion on a lot of things. And um, as I said, I started my career with him and, uh, you know, started my, my journey down in Sydney with him too. So yep. um, he's always someone, you know, that's there for me for, for any advice. So. What a what a what a shoulder to lean a hand to too because he's outstanding, mate. We're the best coach ever. Um, your favorite celebration, whether it's a you know, after an origin or after a try, as in my own celebration, yeah, or your own celebration, yeah, or that I've done that you've done, yeah. I'd be when I scored against Tonga and like I remember getting up and as I got up, I all the Tongan fans were there and there was like one little Samoan flag in the middle and I like. Kissed my, I don't know, I kissed it and like pointed to the bloody... So just caught up in the moment. Yeah, caught up in the moment. Typical Jay You'd love Sura, eh? You'd love it. <laughs> Here's one for you. Three blokes you'd take on a car trip across the country. Ooh. I'd be leaving Tao at home. <laughs> You've done it enough. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be... Oh. Actually, no, nah, you know what? Can it be anyone in the world? No, no, no. Three, oh. three, three blokes that you've played with. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, nah, I'd go... The bear, which is Aaron Woods, oh. yourself. Um, At least we have a good chat. Yeah. Tao, I'd have to take Tao because he'd, he'd let me know about it if I didn't. And he'd be sucking. Not honey because we wouldn't get coffee off him. So um, Only if you got the pod machine there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The last spot can be... I'll take, I'll take Keon too. He's got some good tunes. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's a, it's a fair, it's a, it's a different a mix. Top crew. Yeah. yeah. I don't think Keon will get a word in with me and Tao there. Nah, it depends. If we're going across the country, he takes a bit to open up. So I'm sure we'll, we'll get crack it. him in that first, the first league. Yeah. hundred. Ah, uh, well, mate, now nah, I appreciate you coming in, especially on your time off, mate. We hope you have a great holiday. Thanks, uh, mate. And we're excited to see how high Jaden Stewart can reach in, uh, in 2024, mate. Me too, brother. Can't wait. Thank All you. All the best, big fella. Cheers. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate.